Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well, I hope you are sitting comfortably, you are cosy, you have your snacks and your beverages and you are cuddled up and you have some kind of emotional support thing with you because today we are going to be looking at some terrible, 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 horrible, badly done, horrific tattoos it is the season we are approaching halloween very very quickly so i thought this would be a good video to do right about now i have my emotional support jumper on right now it's so fluffy and it's so cozy and it's like a little hug and it's so soft and i just want to like roll around in it do you like understand do you ever wear something that's like really soft and cozy and you're just like i never ever 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 want to take this off i want to live in it forever and ever because it's just so soft and cozy <laughs> my camera keeps doing this it is focusing on something in the background right now and i made sure it was locked onto my face and i have been watching haunting on hill house okay something has invited itself into my house right now you are locked on my face stop it stop it stop it stop it it's doing it again what the hell stay on my face i don't know what it's focusing on the only thing i can think that it might be focusing on is i do have a skeleton back there but it's been there like since the whole like room has looked like this since september and it's never ever done that and it's only since i've been watching haunting on hill house it's been doing this okay i've invited something in i'm scared i'm very very scared okay i'm home alone and there might be a ghost i hope it's a nice ghost I really do hope it's a nice ghost. Are you nice? It's not even on the table. Where the fuck's that gone? Right. <laughs> it was here. Okay, and it flew here didn't it and Tom's trying to find a logical explanation as to why no it flew it should have just landed on the floor but it flew onto the table yeah, no, that's presuming that the hook went but I don't think it did so why was it flying because I think this broke but why would it break I don't know maybe of how it there's was. a ghost no there's a ghost maybe of how it was it's up there like that this snaps and then you have all this weight go this way. Yeah, but why would it snap? It to go that way. I don't know why it would snap. <laughs> Unless the power was on the wall and it's just snapped it. Okay, so we are looking on Reddit. We are looking at shitey tattoos, which is one of my favourite subreddits to look at. It makes me believe that, like, you know, everything about my life isn't that bad because I don't have these terrible tattoos. <laughs> is that just me? You know? Anyway. Ooh. So this one says, just got a small sleeve. How long till it wears off? This is obviously a joke, right? But... I think they're just doing this to be like, oh, look at my cool tattoo, right? At first glance, it doesn't look that bad, right? But if we do a zoom, uh, not that much. Do you do you see? Okay, first of all, line work, terrible. And then we do have a big blowout. But is it the worst tattoo I've ever seen? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, honey. No, 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 no. Oh, this is why I cannot stress enough. You should go to a decent tattoo artist if you want to get... Listen to this, listen to this. Oh, it stopped. It's the noise of my camera focusing on what I don't know. This is weird. It's never, ever done this before. I, I never. What are you focusing on? Anyway, this. What? Like, <laughs> the neck, the face, the features, the eyes, the hand, the arm, this hand, like, Come on. It's giving everything and nothing at the same time. 
Can anyone make out what the hell this is? What is, like, honestly, this is probably meant to be some kind of, like, statue or something, right? But can anyone actually determine what it is? Like, does anyone know? Can anyone recognise what this is? Because what is this? Like, we have a leg here, and then, like, a leg here. What's this? Why is there a massive ball bag right here? I mean, is that the least of our worries right now? Maybe, especially with this face, neck-to-face ratio. And then this shoulder to arm ratio. I just, who did this? And it looks like it's in an actual studio as well because there is flash in the background there. There is a studio producing this kind of work. Oh no, what is this? I wanted to brag on my husband. This is not the final product. It's not done just yet. Oh, okay, that's great. He's just starting out, but I'm so proud of him for this being his first big piece. He's getting better as time goes on, but even though the lines need gone back over, I'm just so proud. I just couldn't sit any longer for him to do any more. Oh. <laughs> the thing is though, we can tell what it is, so that's great. That's always a good start. And I feel like, should an actual tattoo artist go over this, it could be saved immediately get that line work sorted out get that black work area sorted out and i i think it could be saved posted to remote a local shop i mean the line work it's not the best but it's kind of cute why do i like this does anyone else like this i really like this like yeah the line work isn't like it's not the line work i would promote but it's kind of cute i don't know why i just think it's kind of endearing and sweet <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused by these, lol help. They're not necessarily done shittily, but if you have no idea what it's supposed to mean and the concept is creepy, does it count? <laughs> I mean, it's honestly not that bad, is it? Oh, I can't even zoom in. Terrific. But it's Bambi with a shrimp butt and like some tentacles, like a, a what do you call those things? Jellyfish kind of tentacles. It's giving up. I kind of like this idea that like the two-headed Bambi. How did someone come up with this idea? I want to know who this is. I want to talk to them because I think their mind would be just terrific. Friend's horrible mother got this done recently. Not even sure what it says. You're not flawed, darling. You're just a little under. Under. What is that last word? Someone's translated it here. It says, you're not flawed, darling. You're just a little under rehearsed. The disrespect to Miss Winehouse. Are you kidding me with this, honey? Absolutely not. Oh my God. She literally has the mouth of Freddie Mercury. There's not even like eyelashes. It's just like her signature massive eyeliner. We have no eyelashes. It's not giving anything to me right now. It also looks really red. Oh, oh, look at that irritation. A little bit of redness when you get tattooed is completely normal, but that is not. This person needs to go to a hospital immediately. Look at the face. It's like it's got chicken pox. Chicken. What the hell is chicken? <laughs> She's got chicken pox. Pin up Snow White. Interesting choice to include the text, but okay. The thing is, if this was educated, if this was educated, I need to be educated. If this was executed much better, it would be a vibe, right? A pin up Snow White. I'd be so about that, but I love Snow White. I have a Snow White tattoo myself. It's in a traditional style because it's for my nan who love, 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 love Snow White. Couples tattoo seen on Instagram. It's supposed to be wings. The thing is, I can see that this is wings. Personally, don't like wing tattoos at all. It's just one of my least favorite types of tattoo. It's not that bad. I'm not seeing terrible ones today, you know? I, I want to see the worst of the worst. I want to see people's freaking limbs falling off because they're so infected. <laughs> okay, here we go. What is this? Is it meant to be lava? Is it meant to be a rock? Yeah. What is this? so many questions this is on someone's face on the side of someone's face it's like it kind of looks like the beast from beauty and the beast it kind of looks like a ham you know like when you get those like roasted hams and they've got the string all around them and stuff 
it looks like that. It's cross between Beast from Beauty and the Beast and Ham and a pomegranate. It's like a little pomegranate vibe going on down here. There is so many things wrong with this one. So many. So, so, so. Oh my gosh. The more I look at it, the more terrifying it is. First of all, why are we getting serial killers tattooed on us? Okay? Absolutely not. Prison. I honestly am so concerned about people that get serial killers tattooed on them. Because wh why? Why are these your idols? Why? Why do you respect someone that much? Why do you have so much love for a serial killer that it leads you up to getting one tattooed on you? It's... <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. I always say, at the end of the day, it's your body, your choice, you do what you want, but this is not okay. Okay, I don't, this has been, has this been this high for, how long has this been this high? <laughs> oh my God, it's like an invasive penis, like, ugh. I'm losing the will. <laughs> Wait, what? Chris Jenner's tramp stamp. Chris Jenner has a tattoo. I thought, like, the majority of the Kardashians were pretty anti-tattooed, right? I think it is actually just Kim, because I think Kendall has a couple of tattoos, doesn't she? I know none of them are heavily tattooed, apart from Rob or whatever. Anyway, who cares? I did not know Kris Jenner had that, because that is definitely Kris Jenner, right? Okay, Kris Jenner, coming through. The script on this is really nice as well. I don't know much about the uh, cross, that, but these two are the new, I'm guessing, and then that's just an old one. This guy on Hinge, just by the tattoos and the garbage-filled background, I know he'd ruin my life. <laughs> but why does his tattoos literally look like one of those mazes, like the Halloween mazes? Don't you think it's giving that vibe? Like, this one, it would be, like, a scary, like, woods cabin kind of maze then we have like the clown circus kind of vibe going on here and then i think that kind of looks like um jigsaw from the saw it probably might not be but you know do you know what i'm saying like it, the his tattoos have different scare mazes vibes oh it gets worse at the back but i kind of like it does anyone else like this or is it just me like it's messed up but in the best way a red flag right on the wrist and it's someone that has a alpha bracelet like, if I saw anyone with that, I wouldn't even give them the time of day. That is not my kind of person right there. It's one thing to promote the whole alpha thing, you know, talk about, oh, I'm an alpha bro, I bring home all the money, women should stay at home and cook and all of that. Like, it's one thing to be that type of person, but to have it tattooed on your wrist is embarrassing. How are you not embarrassed? That is so cringy. When you're the first to fall asleep at a sleepover. <laughs> no. I'm glad the hashtag is still here. It says Brutal Black Project. I did a video about Brutal Black Project years and years and years and years ago. And it's, it is what it says it is. It's brutal. Like people get tattooed like brutally. Like the tattoo artists that do them and the machines are just like you know, like, full on going on in there. It's gnarly. I think my taste in tattoos has changed quite a bit since I've done a video about Brutal Black Project, because at first I was like, what the hell is this? Like, what's going on? But yeah, I mean, obviously this is not for everyone, but I kind of like, like it a little bit. I truly do think I am just enjoying tattoos that are different from the norm as of lately. And yeah, it's obviously not for everyone. And it's very like, what the hell? But, like, I kind of like it. I don't know. <laughs> no, why is this here? This is adorable. Shut up. Okay, that, well, I mean, that's even still cute. But this is really cute. Shut up. Why are you here? This, this isn't bad. Uh, it's just a little ghost in a little hat holding the number 13. I think this is really cute. <sighs> Let me know if this word bothers you. It used to bother me. It doesn't bother me. It depends on what context someone uses this word because some people will just be like, oh, this cake is really moist. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not offended by that. But sometimes when people are like, mm, this is really moist. I'm like, Egh! like I melt. It's disgusting. Stop. Update. So I did get the hideous eye covered. So I got the hand covered by a local studio in my area and they knew very well the artist that did the eye and they were well aware of the artist's terrible work. This will need more colour added in the future, but it's no longer an eyesore. Really though? 
Really? Really? Is that what you really think, honey? Is that what you really think? Because, um, the cover-up isn't giving much. It's really not giving that much, sweetie. You know, like, I'm glad that you're happy now, and it is honestly much better than what you were left with, but... Baby girl. Baby, baby, what is this line work here? What is this? What is that? What is this? Why is there no straight lines to be seen in this portion right here? And it needs a lot more dimension in this area. It's really, really struggling, my love. No, but seriously, it is. <laughs> no, but seriously, it is actually a lot better. Oh. <sighs> it's kind of cute, but like, a girl I'm friends with on Snapchat, those hands. Like, I love the sentiment of this tattoo it is really nice it is just the hands and like the anatomy it's a bit off like it's giving barbie hands it's giving mittens snake eyes i don't know what's worse here the hair or the tattoos i think the hair looks cool okay i'm about the hair the tattoos though i mean it's kind of a cute idea but like if it was makeup, like if someone like shaved off their eyebrows and did like snakes as eyebrows, that would be pretty dang cool, but not like forever, you know? And especially when it's this kind of quality, you know, like what happened to this snake's head? You know, it's given penis. It's literally, oh, it really is, isn't it? If you, if you really look at it, it's giving penis doing a jizz in this section, not the rest. If someone's penis looks like this, they need to go to the hospital. But this, it's giving penis, okay? <laughs> Why is this so cute? Stop! Why do I find this cute? Literal shitty tattoo on Tinder. But like, why is this adorable? I find this really, really, really cute. I don't, I think it's a smiley face and they're like, <laughs> I'm just doing a little poo kind of vibe. I don't know, I think it's cute. I mean, it's not great. Like, the quality of the tattoo isn't the best, obviously, but it's actually adorable. Okay, I don't care. It's adorable. Ooh, honey, it's giving Jordan. It's giving Converse. It's giving Gucci. It's giving Balenciaga, sweetie. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Yes, okay. Fashion, sweetie, baby. Ooh, Ariana Grande is here. I've seen this. I mean, this is probably a bad... Uh, a screenshot of it. Is it something for me? Absolutely not. Okay, it's not for me personally. You know, it's such a, a you know, high detail tattoo to get on such a small placement. You know, it's just, the thing is, celebrities have all the money in the world. So it, if it ends up healing pretty badly or looking badly in a few years time, they have the means to get the laser or a good cover up. Oh my God. Oh, this is one, is this one of the island boys? It looks like one of them, there's like twins and they're like covered in the most terrible tattoos ever. And I think this is one of them. It looks like one of them. <sighs> My 15 year old colleague, his first tattoo, 15 years old with a very, very prominent hand tattoo. And like the quality isn't terrible. It's not the best, but it's not like the worst, but I just don't understand these types of tattoos. I don't get it. Anyway, I think that is enough for today. I think that is enough scary scaries for today. All right, I've traumatized you enough. Okay, go and watch something nice. Go and watch some dogs. And yeah, anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you all so, so much. I hope you all stay safe and well. And until my next one, bye.